Hello students myself Shweta from Mount Literacy School Bar I hope you all are blessed with good health during this pandemic period you need to stay inside your home today we are going to read a new chapter that is chapter number 4 from your ala 1 and the name of the chapter is food and balanced diet You all studied in previous class about different kind of foods. So, according to your prior knowledge, tell me, do you have any idea about the importance of food? Let's discuss the importance of food. Number one, we need food to live and grow. The second point is, fruit provides us energy. it makes us strong and healthier here the topic is the types of nutrition we mainly divide food into various categories the first one is carbohydrate second one is protein then fats then fourth one is vitamins minerals fibers and water let's see one by one food classification Various food components are grouped in three classes. We mainly divided food into three groups. The first one is energy giving food, then body building food and productive food. Under the energy giving food, the nutrients involved are carbohydrates and fats. In body building foods, it includes proteins. Next one is productive food. In productive food, it includes vitamins, minerals and So here our next and a very important topic is balanced diet. So what is balanced diet? We need to take a food in a adequate amount. We have very careful while taking a amount of a food in our daily life. So a balanced diet is a diet that contains a adequate amount of all the necessary nutrients required for a healthy growth and activities. What are those nutrients such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and water? I am given some example of food including in category like in energy giving food, in body building food and in protective food. So in energy giving food there are some examples are rice, wheat, potato and many more next one is bodybuilding food milk pulses egg fish etc in protective food the examples are fruits green vegetables and intake of food varies with age gender and physical activities the amount of food that we all eat is referred as to intake of food babies children teenagers parents and grandparents need a different amount of food so the amount of food needed by people depends on their age and activity level with more exercise the body requires more energy so they have to take a rich amount of a food children teenagers people who do more physical activity need a more food we all see the intake of food differs from different ages and physical activities for small babies as they do not have teeth they cannot eat solids so they eat milk khichdi kheer mashed banana and many more young children need a more amount of energy giving food as their body is growing moving to the food for teenagers children who are between the age of 13 years to 20 years old are known as teenager people people in this age needs a lot of natural energy boosting food exercising in this age make their bones stronger and the diet rich in nutrients like protein and many more they should eat a balanced food group at every meal like 
dairy items will provide them calcium for growing their bones they should take a eight glass of water in a day people above the age of 16 years should eat food that is easy to digest rich in calcium to make their bones stronger should be take in a lower quantity so let's discuss some facts why is it important to eat healthy best way to live a healthy life is to eat a balanced diet that we already discussed what is balanced diet to provide nutrients that your body needs to function to give you more energy alertness throughout the day a healthy eating also prevents from future diseases and sickness i hope you all understand this topic thank you students we will meet soon with the next topic till then take care of yourself